how to earn money by investing in gold. Today, we have a very interesting man with us as a guest. It's, his name is Oliver Schedel. He is a Swiss asset manager based in Geneva. And for his clients, he is investing in gold since many, many years. He's investing in gold. So gold was always part of his strategy and did very well. And now they are even increasing their gold position. And today we will learn how to make money with gold and why gold is that important. Stay tuned. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I'm the international Swiss private banking lawyer, the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the owner of the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks and pay less taxes. Stay with us. We fight for your money. Good morning, Olivier. It's a great pleasure to have you here as a gold expert in, uh, in my show and to give a lot of information to our audience to disclose the secrets about investing in gold and the secrets about how to make money with gold. So how to earn money by investing in gold is a, is a very interesting topic and it's even more interesting now in this difficult situation, in this COVID-19 situation. So why are you increasing the gold positions for your clients? Why you are you doing that? What is the background? First, thank you for having me and it's a uh, giving me the opportunity to say a few things on, uh, on this um, interesting market. Um, it is true, uh, we have been investing in gold for many, many years. Uh, to a larger or to a, a, a smaller uh, extent, it depends, of course, in which kind of economic uh, environment you are situating yourself. Right now, we're rather increasing gold and actually quite substantially. Uh, and when I say gold, actually, I should say precious metals. But um, uh, for uh, easiness sake, uh, we just say uh, gold. Okay. I think uh, we are in a situation right now where a combination of um, critical situations uh, are colliding. We have global indebtedness, which is at its absolute height. Historical Countr level, never before money printing. Because countries have issued so much debt and they get even more indebted uh, to, a, to, a, to a situation which is not sustainable long term. Somebody has to pay the bill at the end of the day. Absolutely. Somebody has to pay. Absolutely. And this COVID uh, pandemic, of course, has not uh, helped uh, this uh, trend. On the contrary, actually, the indebtedness has increased because countries had to support their, uh, their, their citizens, yeah. which have been hurt by the pandemic. And uh, so this year, uh, indebtedness has increased dramatically. And gold is a hedge against... It is a hedge. Yeah. It has always been a hedge. You have to see, gold is for me a currency. Yeah. Gold is not a material which is just in the ground and has no interest. No, it is a currency. You have to see it like this. It's a currency. It's a currency. And, yeah. uh, to the same me. extent that the Swiss franc is a currency and has done extremely well in the last, uh, what, 50, 60, 70 years, uh, because it is... Uh, a safe haven or the, the reflection of a safe haven jurisdiction. Yeah. Gold is the reflection of something which is not controlled by countries. It is something which uh, the public understands and for the last, what, 4,000 years, 5,000 years, all uh, civilizations have used gold in a manner or the other 
uh, to uh, hedge themselves against um, difficult times. Difficult times, uh, very interesting. So for an investor, how should he invest in gold? If, if he wants to participate in the potential of gold, not only as a hatching, but also to make money out of it, what are the different ways to invest in gold? And what are the most, how do, do you differentiate these ways? Good question. Um, first of all, the gold market is not a very big market compared to uh, the forex market uh, uh. Or, the, or the forex market, uh, even, even bigger, the bond market. Uh, it is a very small, limited market uh, because, and that's why gold is sought after, it exists only in very limited quantities. And it's very difficult and time-consuming and costly to take it out uh, from the ground. The gold, to extract it. the gold from the ground, yeah. Absolutely. Now, how can you invest in gold? Uh, traditionally, I would say people um, bought gold coins. Uh, the gold coins, uh, the most uh, widely known are the Krugerrand from South Africa, Maple Leaf from Canada, uh, the, the, the eagles from uh, America, they are very liquid. the Frenely, yeah. very liquid, very liquid. Uh, you know what you have, you can, you can take them with you, you can store them easily. Uh, You're right, I also do so. I have a collection of Roman gold coins, Absolutely. 2000 years old, I like it very much, yeah. Uh, the problem is not all gold coins have the exact amount of gold which uh, uh, makes the weight of the gold. Coin. So you have to watch out the, how much is the percentage of gold uh, absolutely. In, the, in the coin. For example, the Napoleon in France or the Fresnelli in Switzerland has a little bit less gold than what the, the coin is weighing. However, if you know that, you pay at the end just what the gold reflects. All right. But this is a good uh, 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 way of, of investing. Um, the second way is to buy gold bars. Now, gold bars is perfect to keep in a safe deposit box. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can have it on a bank account also. It shows there you have gold bars of um, 10 grams, uh, 100 grams, the 500 is, grams. The biggest is two, uh, 12, 12 and a half kilos. Yeah. Absolutely. But that, that is a little bit expensive because one kilo bar, which is about, has about this size, uh, one kilo is uh, nearly sixty thousand yeah. um, dollars. So can you imagine twelve and a half kilos is maybe not for the general public to uh, to buy. Yeah. However, it is also liquid. It uh, it is refined with a stamp. So if uh, you have the guarantee of this stamp that yeah. uh, this is of of good provenance and it's uh, pure. Uh, gold, uh, then uh, it is easy to uh, sell it. Switzerland is the most important gold market in the world, correct? Yes, it has been and it still is, absolutely. First of all, uh, there is no VAT on gold, yeah. so you don't very pay. Interesting. Very interesting. Very VAT, important. Zero VAT on gold. In yeah. silver there is VAT. Yeah. And we have about, uh, I think, four or five refineries, yeah. world-class refineries uh, in, in Switzerland. So a lot of gold pours into Switzerland, is refined, uh, uh, put into gold bars and then uh, sold to the public or to banks, to uh, whoever uh, uh, wants to uh, hedge themselves. Very important is if, the, if you have gold bars, then jurisdiction is very important in which jurisdiction you want to store this gold bar. So you have to select very stable jurisdiction to store your gold bars. And you should not maintain your, and you should not hold your gold bars in the jurisdiction in where, where you live, where is your residence. You should have your gold bar out of the influence of the jurisdiction, for example, in Switzerland. So that's why in Switzerland there is so much gold. But there are also other ways to invest in gold. I know that you are an expert of uh, gold stocks, gold mine stocks of gold mines in Canada, in Australia, in uh, New Guinea, in Africa. Can you, especially in Africa, oh. you are an African expert, an expert yes, for Africa. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this. Um, I might just add yeah. one thing. Okay. If you don't want to buy gold bars, 
uh, because you have to hoard them and the cost, uh, uh, costs are involved, you can buy an ETF. ETFs are exchange traded funds. It's traded in New York, it's traded in Switzerland and you have ETFs which reflect exactly the amount of gold which uh, is in each unit. Yeah. Uh, at the end you hold paper. But it's safe. You, you have, have paper, exactly. You have a paper. Uh, you have to be sure that the issuer of the paper has the gold physically yeah. in storage. So you have to be sure, you have to verify, otherwise Absolutely. it's not a good investment in For ETF. Example, so before buying this, you say, you're saying that before buying ETFs, you have to verify yes. if the gold is physically present. Yes. So very important information. So when you, if you buy ETF, check first if the gold is physically there. there. Right. Now, um, if you own gold, be it gold bars or an ETF, your performance will always be as much as the gold price goes up or goes capital down. Capital gain. You are realizing it a capital, capital gain. gain. So you it's make capital money, loss, but you will never make more support. than yeah. what the gold price will do. Yeah. You have to be aware of this. Now, this is very good as a core holding in a portfolio. But you made a nice example before. When you compared the stock market price with the gold price. Yes, um, actually the gold price, if you look back uh, since 2008, gold has done as well as the Dow Jones Index. So uh, you see how you make money in gold? So the same as the Dow Jones it, Index. It had some difficult years, that is quite clear. But the stock market always has also difficult yeah. years and sometimes very brutal uh, uh, corrections. Um, that is inherent in any commodity in anything, big stocks or copper or gold or uh, silver, whatever, uh, you have price swings. What we try to do is take advantage of what we expect will be the next price swings. We are quite clearly right now in a long-term upcycle in precious metals. Right? A long-term upcycle. Yes. With, of course, ups and downs, but yeah. the, the long-term uh, uh, I, I, I see it up. I see gold price much higher. So how can you profit more than just by buying physical gold? Yeah. You could actually buy uh, stocks from gold miners, yeah. gold produced. But you have to be very careful because there are stocks and stocks. I know this no, is a, it's a risky, it's a risky absolutely. area. Absolutely. You have to, first of all, you have to see you have only a few very big names in this business. So the big players, Newmont, Newmont Barrick, these are the two mastodons. These are extremely stable, old companies. Uh, they have uh, huge operations, very good cash flow, and they, uh, they add to their reserves, not by exploring themselves necessarily, but buying up smaller companies. So if you want to be on the safe side, buy Newmont or, or, or Barrett the big or companies, like yes. And, if you, and if you want to make more money? Well, in an up cycle, uh, uh, very quickly, people then, investors, switch to the mid-range uh, uh, the, the mid, uh, gold stocks. Uh -huh. um, like? Yamana. Yeah. Yamana, they have mines in Brazil, but it's a Canadian company. Yeah. Uh, Agnico Eagle, they have mines all over the place, um, uh, is diversified, is a very, very strong company, has been a, a great, uh, great investment. Gold Corp has been one of the darlings in the last 20 years. Yeah. Uh, Kirkland Gold. What is important is, uh, uh, this is my personal view, um, you should buy companies which are listed in secure, in renowned um, countries. Canada, Australia, the United States, these are the three countries uh, with the best markets. And um, it's not by coincidence that in Canada, for example, you have an incredible amount of companies either producing or exploring which are there. That doesn't mean that they mine that their mines are yeah. in Canada. Some, of course, are. They have uh, the, the Red Lake District or the Cummins uh, uh, Belt or so are, are fantastic areas for gold yeah. and, and over, over 100 years. However, 
you have gold in Ghana, you have gold in South Africa, Africa. Yeah, you New have Guinea. gold in New, New Guinea, Guinea. There is a lot of uh, gold in, in New China, Guinea. in yeah. Serbia, yeah. Um, uh, in Mexico, even Latin in Switzerland, America. there is gold. Even in Switzerland, yeah, gold. probably was, yeah, not uh, economically. Uh, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, if you want to make more money, as you yes. said, uh, go into uh, the the intermediate uh, uh, range. Uh, because you have a little bit more leverage yeah. or even if you want to speculate a little bit more yeah. you can add one or two companies which have not yet a mine but which have been drilling to look for gold and have hit um, a good place uh, a hot spot a, a hot spot yeah. uh, of course you have to you have to develop uh, a mine and uh, developing a mine takes uh, anywhere between six and ten years yeah. and it takes uh, a, a couple of billion dollars. So the big boys like Newmont Barrick, they are very keen in buying the smaller ones out yeah. which have uh, been uh, successful in exploration. Yeah. So imagine you invest into a, a, a stock which you paid maybe 50 cents. An exploration uh, company. Exactly, an exploration company. The results are good and over the year the stock has gone up to $2 or $2.50. Um, this is still very, very low, but you might not want to wait and you don't uh, think that this company has the power and the knowledge to develop its mines. They will probably sell the company. company. So when yeah. it's sold to one of the big uh, uh, um, players. Uh, players, then you cash in. Uh, uh, then, you then, you then you make then money. Make money. Yeah. Then your ledge, of course, is, is incredible. Yeah. Uh, a, a good example, it has not been sold, but a good example is Kirkland Lake. Yeah. Uh, uh, ha, is a fantastic uh, uh, company with a big operation in Canada. I remember when the when the stock was uh, below two dollar Canadian yeah. dollars, and like now it's about seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. So wow. just uh, uh, from two dollars to seventy. Wow. Absolutely, and this in not much more than uh, three or four years. Wow. Um, so you can be very lucky. Now you said be careful. Yes, you have a lot of companies, especially in an up cycle, they say we have great claims and we operate in, in you know, in strange places. But you have political risk. Yeah? If, you, um, if you have your mine in an unstable country or in a country where you have a political unrest or wars um, or uh, for any other reasons, uh, you, you don't have the rule of law. Uh, for example, uh, in, in a country uh, in, in, in um, East Africa, not long ago, about a year ago, the government just changed the rules and say, from now on, uh, we increase the royalties owed to uh, us by 100 or 200 percent. So a gold miner will be very wary to invest its money in a jurisdiction which is not uh, foreseeable and, yeah. and, and uh, where you have these kind of risks. These kind of surprises, So uh, yes. even if it's a Canadian or an Australian company, have a look where the mines are. And if they mine in Africa or Latin America, it's better to have a kind of a diversification. So check uh, out very important yeah. information. So if you invest in such company, you should also check where are the mines in which countries. Are these places diversified if they have risky countries like New Guinea, New, uh, New Guinea, New Guinea, like uh, Africa, like uh, South America, and all these difficult countries? If the mines are diversified, you you risk are diversi diversified. So the, the diversification is everything. And you have you you have. Companies like Equinox Gold, yeah. they are in about six or seven different places all around the world, yeah. which is great. So you have a diversification. If it goes wrong in Argentina, well, uh, it might be compensated by Brazil or by Mexico or by an African uh, uh, um, uh, mine. Uh, yeah. mine. Um, if you have another one which is only mining in one single jurisdiction, uh, you have obviously more risk. You have a cluster risk. Absolutely. 
So at what other, do you know other ways how to make money in gold? So we have uh, spoke, we, we discussed uh, the physical gold in bars, physical gold in coins, ETFs. We discussed uh, stocks of big companies, medium companies, and even small companies who do exploration. What, there are other ways to make money with gold? There are gold options well, or what do you? Well, you, you have, you can buy options. Why not? I mean, there's a, there's was one of the first market actually, which opened to the to, to the options, the gold and the silver options. Um, it, it is liquid. You do that because you anticipate short term, three months, four months, five months, uh, higher gold price, or you anticipate a lower gold price and then you sell an option, yeah. uh, uh, or you buy a put option depending a little bit. But I think this is not for the general public. I think this is, these are for professionals yeah. and you have to follow that very, very closely. I would rather say somebody who would like to make a little bit of money without too much risk, yeah. he should uh, probably look at gold royalty companies. Ah, gold now, royalty. These royalty companies, they don't do exploration. Yeah. They don't do the, 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 the uh, they don't take the gold out of the of the soil, yeah, the uh, so they do not do the ex extraction work. Yeah, yeah. What they do is they have been um, acquiring properties where they knew that there was something there. Drill they do the more drill holes, uh -huh. they do the feasibility studies, and then they sell the project to one of the big boys so the rights. and instead of getting just the cash yeah. they keep some uh, royalties uh, uh -huh. some uh, uh, very interesting very interesting these so the, the, these big companies pay these royalty companies yeah. a certain amount every uh, quarter every year yeah. um, and the higher the gold goes the more you get uh -huh. so these gold um, uh, royalty companies are a relatively uh, secure way of always having some cash flow Very being in the gold market yeah. without having the risk uh -huh. of uh, ex pure exploration or extraction with all the costs involved Franco Nevada is probably the biggest name in this uh, industry, but there are others in Canada. Seabridge is, is one, um, uh, or Cisco, and so on. So you, 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 very interesting, you, very interesting. you have these about um, uh, royalties. A good, a these good companies dozen. controlling royalties. Yeah. So it's a way yeah. to yeah. invest with less risks. What do you know other ways? Or what can we. The thing is, we, we talked about gold. Um, you could. You could include silver. Yeah. I think silver is um, interesting because it's a, it's a metal which is used in the economy uh -huh. uh, for smartphones, for cars, for a lot of uh, 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 applications, photography and so on. Uh, gold, not, but silver, yes, it's an industrial but silver, metal. Is silver a currency or is silver another currency? Gold is a currency, you said. Silver. It is a little bit debatable. Uh, yeah. It is much less a currency. I would yeah. say it has some characteristics, but it is not a pure. And you have to see there's much more silver uh, uh, around in the world than gold. Uh -huh. uh, so it makes it also less sought after. Uh -huh. um, but it's in interesting uh, to invest there. Uh, very often when you have, and I forgot to say, a lot of Gold companies, so-called gold companies yes. in Canada or Australia, they are not pure gold companies. Uh -huh. They have copper gold uh, mines, oh, and, or they have to separate gold and uh, molybdenum or another uh, a rare earth uh, uh, metal or whatever, yeah. or zinc. So um, in, their, in their factories, in their crushers, they can divide obviously all this. Uh, so you can get an exposure to copper, and I think copper might be a very good uh, uh, investment. Alternative, right ah, copper uh, as a commodity. As copper. a commodity, because especially now that you think that Mr. Biden uh, might actually launch a kind of an infrastructure program in America, yeah. uh, one of the commodities used is, is copper oh, yeah. uh, for uh, uh, upgrading all of the, the, the wires across America. 
along the highways, along the bridges, you need copper in, in, in a lot of applications, you need steel. I mean, um, look, look at the commodity market as, as, as a whole uh, and specifically gold as a hedge. Ah, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being, giving all this interesting information. If you like more information just like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button and be with us. Ring also the bell. Don't forget to ring the bell. If you do so, you will never miss our new videos. Thank you very much for being with us today. Bye-bye. Be rich and stay rich. Have a nice day.